what is up everybody welcome back to the channel it's jasper and dylan here and in today's video we got some breaking news to cover since today december 22nd 2021 the prime minister of canada justin trudeau as well as the minister of finance krista freeland appeared before the media virtually to announce the expanded eligibility of the lockdown benefit or the cwlb for workers and employers so in today's video i'm going to show you that clip where krista freeland is talking about just that and then in my further videos i'm going to explain what all of that means for you guys but before i show you that clip make sure to smash that like button right down below and if you have yet to subscribe to the channel make sure you do that Merci beaucoup, mais... thank you very much dear friends now i will hand it over to a deputy prime minister freeland hey merci monsieur le premier ministre thank you prime minister a good day everyone in the past few days we have observed an increase in cases of covid 19. certain regions of the country are reporting record numbers of cases the Omicron variant of the virus is much more easily transmitted than the others. And we cannot be complacent. Since the beginning of the pandemic, we have endeavored to be flexible and to adapt to the changing nature of the pandemic. Within our programs, we are ensuring to plan for the necessary leeway so that we may react rapidly and effectively. Last week, we saw Bill C-2 adopted. This law made it possible to put in place targeted measures to support workers and companies if lockdowns became necessary to contain the spread of the virus. During the month of October, when we uh, introduced these more targeted measures, we did not yet know the Omicron variant, but we made sure that we were ready. Today, through regulatory authorities that were approved with the passage of Bill C-2, we are announcing our decision to temporarily expand the definition of a lockdown so that these wage and rent support programs can support workers and businesses that see capacity restricted by 50% or more. So what exactly does this mean? It means that if you are an employer who has to reduce the capacity of your main business by 50% or more, you will be eligible for wage and rent subsidy support through the local lockdown program. And we are lowering the revenue decline threshold from 40% to 25%. Eligible employers will receive wage and rent subsidy support from between 25% to up to 75%, depending on how much revenue they have lost. Your organization only needs to demonstrate revenue loss during the current month compared with 2019. Employers will be able to apply for these expanded support programs after the end of each program period in exactly the same way that they received wage and rent subsidy support when those programs were launched last year. For workers, our decision means that if you are working in a region where the provincial or territorial government has introduced capacity restrictions of 50% or more, and if you have lost 50% or more of your income as a direct result of those restrictions, you can qualify for the Canada Worker Lockdown Benefit. This benefit will put $300 a week in your pocket to supplement your lost wages. This proposed expanded eligibility will be effective as of last Sunday, December 19th, 2021, and it will run through to February 12th, 2022. Many parts of the country have already introduced circuit breaker public health restrictions in order to curb the rise in cases of COVID. These expanded federal support measures will ensure that provinces and public health authorities across the country can continue to make the right difficult decisions 
they need to make to save lives, confident in the knowledge that the federal government will be there to financially support workers and businesses as we finish this fight. Our government knows that other companies are still being impacted by the pandemic. Since yesterday, eligible employers have been able to apply for financial aid through the Tourism and Hospitality Recovery Program and the Hardest Hit Business Recovery Program. These programs propose wage subsidies and rent assistance up to 75% and 50% respectively. In October, when we announced these programs, we estimated they would cost $7.4 billion. Last week, in the economic and fiscal update, we set aside an amount of $4.5 billion in planning for the impact of the Omicron variant. The cost of expanding the support measures is estimated to be $4 billion and will be completely covered by the amount that we planned for in the update. And finally, let me add that public companies receiving the wage subsidy through these support programs that increase their top executive compensation in 2022 compared to 2019 will have this wage subsidy support clawed back. These companies will also become ineligible if they pay dividends while receiving the wage subsidy. So as Dr. Tam reminded us last week, all pandemics do end. So that was what our Minister of Finance Krishna Frieden had to say about the new and revised definition of a lockdown and the lockdown eligibility. But in my further videos, I'm going to explain in detail what all of that means for employers as well as workers. So definitely stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel. But that was it for today and I'll see you guys on the next video on the tripod.